Hi guys, how's it going? So now what we're going to do is we're going to change um, the vehicles that are in the faction list. Unfortunately, we can't do the same thing like we did with the weapons where we can just pull and drop them. There's going to be a little bit more that we're going to do. So I'm going to save this world and I'm going to close out of my world as soon as it gets done saving. In this, in this little lesson, let's say we want to have the Americans use a BTR for some reason. Obviously, if we have any modded uh, vehicles or we have anything else in here, you would kind of want to do this the same way to ensure everything's set up correctly. Uh, a lot of the mod authors are really good about like certain things. Obviously, an AH-64 Apache is going to be set to Blue 4. It's going to be a helicopter and stuff. But you might have a little weird situation where you're going to be looking at something. And you're like, ah, oh, my player base is up for it, but we're a PMC element or something like that. Well, that's where things are going to kind of play in here. So we're going to Armory Forger, we're going to go to Prefabs, we're going to go down to Vehicles, we're going to go down to Wield, and we're going to go ahead and look at the BTR-70. So here she is right here. What we're going to do here though, on the left, we're going to right click, and we're going to click on Override and Operation YouTube Project, which this is the project name. So whatever your project name will be there. We're going to override it, close out of that window. As we can see now, our project folder has a prefab. And what we basically did is we just copied over the BTR-70. Very nice. Do keep in mind though, if you do, for example, you're doing a PVP thing and you have, like obviously the Russians have a BTR-70 and you wanna make it even, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think this is gonna work properly. I'm pretty sure this is gonna override both sides. So what's gonna happen in the end of this video is now Americans are able to pull a BTR-70, but not the Russians. So anyways, we're gonna go to the top right. We're gonna do edit prefab. We're gonna have a huge window here. We got a lot of stuff going on, uh, but don't worry. I know it's intimidating, but don't worry about that. If we go to filter component. We're just gonna type in edit and we have edible vehicle component. And we got a huge list here. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and look at this faction. Obviously faction is set to USSR. We're gonna set this to US. Now we're going to go ahead and look down here. What we're looking for is faction. Usually it's under auto labels. Sometimes I've seen it under authored labels. We're going to go ahead and click this. And right underneath the USSR is going to be faction US. We're going to set that there. Obviously, what we can do also with here is we can change the budget. So let's say the BTR 70 by default is 975 for for funds. Let's go ahead and say it's 10 buckaroonies, 10 supply points. You can also change the rank. For example, I want to be able to pull it and make sure for testing. So I'm going to set it to private and the value is one. The values are always set starting at private to one, going up to kernel. The general is not in yet. I don't know if that's something that's going to happen, but right now kernel is the max. So if we start at private, private is one, corporal is two, sergeant three, lieutenant four, captain five, major six. I'm sorry, not kernel, but major is the final one. I apologize for that. Anyways, um, anything lower, for instance, if you did a renegade, that would be a zero. Um, so if you do set it to renegade, that basically means anyone can pull it, even those who are team killing uh, people and stuff. So if you don't want them to start grabbing like stuff, obviously, if they're going to be a nuisance on your server, you probably don't want to set things to renegade. But it's your project. I'm not going to say anything. Anyways, so we know that's all set. We're going to check one more value up here. We're going to type in faction. We have vehicle faction affiliation component. We're going to set this to US. Now that's all done, we're going to save the prefab. We're going to close out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our world. We're going to click on our faction manager again. We're going to go back to that entity list like we did for the weapons. But now we're going to click on vehicle this time. And we're going to click under multi list. Under multi list, you're going to have vehicles. As you can see, I was playing around with a couple of things before. And what we're going to do here is if we click this, we have any catalog, we have inventory, we got all this other stuff. Obviously, we're doing vehicles. We're not going to do inventory item. That'd be really silly and not going to work. So as we see with the other vehicles, we have entity catalog entry. So we're going to click that. Under prefab, we're going to find the BTR that we just made. So we're going to go over to the left here. We're going to grab our prefab, which is BTR 70. And we're going to plop it in the entity prefab. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have two things. We're going to have editor data and we're going to have spawner data. Under editor data, you need to make sure you have building. 
Basically what this means here is that when you go up to a facility, you're building something. The edit is for your game masters, so they're able to place it down under the US faction. So make sure those are clicked under spawner data, slot types. We're going to want group. Uh, sorry, we're going to have vehicle medium. We couldn't do small, which means you should be able to pull it from the small vehicle depot. However, some vehicles have something a little bit more baked in, so it's not possible. But make sure you just have that set vehicle medium and everything should be set. So if we go in here, we should be able to pull a BTR. So let's go ahead and find out if we can. Let's go and put down a heavy vehicle depot since it also works as a light vehicle depot. There it is. Let's go ahead and move over. Let's go and take a quick look. And request our vehicle. And there's our BTR. And we have two different variants here. Not a really big reason why, but bam, there we go. So now the US uh, faction is able to pull BTRs. So that's how you add in vehicles into your faction on a conflict. You can also do the same if uh, you're doing a weird situation with Game Master as well for them to, if they want to put up a facility and have them pull certain vehicles and stuff. Obviously with uh, modded vehicles, you want to do the exact same thing. What we just did, you want to prefab it, check it, make sure, or if you want to adjust the pricing on it, you want to adjust the ranks on it. That's how you do it. Now, just keep in mind, a lot of modded vehicles are already set up appropriately, so there's not a lot of work in. However, if you want to get more into the nit and gritty, do exactly that. You want to prefab it, look at all the systems and stuff, make sure everything sets to the faction you want uh, players to pull it as. Make sure you set them all. All right, if one of those is not set correctly, it will not work. So make sure you check, check, and double check. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you learned something today, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. And if there's something that you'd like to see as a tutorial, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch. I sometimes do dev streams from time to time, so you might be able to learn something from there. Anyways, take it easy. Bye-bye.